Hello and welcome to another episode of How To Adam Audio. My name is Stefan Maurer, I am the product manager at Adam Audio and today I would like to talk about the do's and don'ts of speaker maintenance. Let's get right into it. First of all, I would like to point out that there are no user serviceable parts inside of any Adam Audio loudspeaker and we strongly advise not to open your loudspeakers at any point to avoid the risk of electric shock. Also, when opening your speaker, your warranty will be void. Please refer all servicing to qualified service personnel. Servicing may be required when the speaker has been damaged in any way, for example if the power supply plug is damaged, liquid has been spilled over it or objects have fallen into the speaker or if it has been exposed to rain or moisture, does not operate normally or has been dropped. We are happy to help you with any problem you might encounter, so feel free to get in touch. You can find our service contract information in the video description below. Our monitoring solutions are built to take the everyday beatings of studio life, so there's actually not much that is required to maintain your speakers. But we would like to give you some advice on how to potentially extend the life of your studio monitors or simply keep them as shiny as on the day they arrived at your place. Some of them may seem obvious, but better be safe than sorry, and I can tell you behind each of these tips is a story where something went terribly wrong. Please make sure to always place your speakers on a solid surface, be it your desk, mixing console or rigid speaker stands, ideally with a non-slip surface. More often than not, you have to move around in your studio to switch cables or adjust something and before you know it, you have knocked over the wobbly construction you have used to hold your monitors. We know, budgets can be tight, but getting yourself a good solid solution to support your speakers protects your investment in the long run. Plus, proper stands can also improve the acoustic performance of your speakers. Sometimes you have to move your speakers to a different studio or store them for some time in the attic while you are working on a project on the road and circumstances don't allow to bring your own set of speakers. In these kind of situations, we advise you to use the original packaging of your Adam Audio products to protect them during the transfer. Thereby, you can avoid humidity, dirt and dust, scratching the finish, breaking off EQ knobs or piercing the drivers. A more costly but also more sturdy solution could be custom-made flight cases, especially if you frequently have to travel with your monitors. Also, please let your speakers acclimate to a new environment for a short period, especially if the speakers have spent some time in a basement or a cold car shortly before the setup. We all want our studios to be a productive as well as inspiring place to work in. Decorations can help to achieve the latter, but your studio monitors are maybe not the best thing to put them on. There are several reasons for that. Whatever decoration you put on top of your speaker, there's a chance it starts to resonate due to the vibrations of the cabinet. Thereby, you add an unwanted sound source to your monitoring setup that will impact the performance negatively. Decorations with electronics like lava lamps, yes, they are still around, can cause interferences or emit heat that could potentially damage the surface of the speakers. It goes without saying that fish bowls, vases or anything that contains liquids are not supposed to be near your studio monitors. Over time, your studio monitors will gather dust so they could do with an occasional cleanup. How do you do that? You can use a damp to dry cloth with no cleaning agents to clean the surface of the speaker cabinet after switching them off. Same goes for the base reflex ports. Please be careful to touch neither the woofer nor the mid-range driver nor the AMT tweeter. The drivers may only be cleaned with a very soft brush. Also, the drivers can emit a strong magnetic field, so be aware of any metal objects being attracted, especially to the tweeter. When there's a pen hitting the tweeter membrane, it's definitely going to need replacement. You can find further tips in the user manual of each Adam Audio product. That's it for now and we hope that you find this information useful. Let us know your feedback and which topics we should cover next down in the comment section. Oh, and one more thing. We all love our pets and like to have them around, especially in a cozy home studio. But please don't let them come too close to your gear. Our service department has replaced more than one woofer that was ripped apart by an adorable little kitty going on a rampage. So long, thanks for watching, take care of your gear, tschüss!